Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about sunblock and the importance of after skin or after sun care for your skin. I don't know how to word that. That was the best way I can. But that's what I'm going to be talking about today. It is a little bit different since I'm usually doing um, a little bit of different things, I guess you can say, in my videos. But... This is what I decided to do today, and how I came up with it is because I guess you can say I was wearing it in winter too, but I've been wearing a lot of sunblock lately, particularly this one, because this is the one that we get at Disneyland, and this is the one that we do wear at Disneyland, Michael and I, and it smells like Disneyland now, if that makes any sense. <laughs> it smells awesome, and... I just like that one. But I decided to do this video because I'm, you know, I've been wearing sunblock a lot more often than I normally do, which is a great thing. And I've been wanting to talk to you guys the importance about sunblock. And I knew some of the I knew some things that I'm going to be talking about you to you guys about sunblock, but some of the things I didn't know about too. So this is a learning experience, and I have them all written down here so I don't forget. All right, let's get this thing started. Okay, so for number one, obviously sunblock it shields you from har from the harmful UV rays. Thing I just recently found out is not only does it protect you in the summer, it protects you in the spring, summer, fall, and winter. Because think about it, the sun doesn't really go anywhere just because the weather changes or the season changes. The sun is still out there and it still has that UV rays. So it's still equally important to wear sunblock year round, rain or shine. The sun is still there when it's raining. It's just covered by the, the clouds and the UV rays still can go through those, go through those clouds and hit you. So rain or shine winter, spring, summer, whatever season it is, I still highly recommend that you wear it because it will still protect you from, you wear the sunblock so it can protect you from those UV rays. Number two, it prevents premature aging. Majority of you may know this, some of you may not know this, I knew this one and I knew the first one obviously, and I'll tell you all the I'll tell you my resources where I did get all this information from at the end of the video and I'll have it all down below I'll have like a lot of stuff down below in the in the description so you guys can check that out but from what I found from my research it says I have written down studies do show that people below the age of 55 so anybody from the age of 1 up to 54 who wore sunscreen had 24 lesser 24 percent of the less chance of developing these skin these aging skin signs than non sunblockers use. Okay, so I think I worded that really weird. So let me explain myself. So anybody below the age of 55, if you wear sunblock, you prevent premature. Um, premature aging so you won't be getting like um you're preventing premature wrinkles um because not wearing sunblock can age you pretty quickly same thing as when you do drugs when you smoke even when you drink <laughs> even when I drink I'm taking that risk but that's a side topic about what we're talking about but that's what it's basically saying you're saying that you're protecting yourself when you put that sunblock on from the, UV, from the UV rays, you're protecting yourself from premature aging, so you get to stay younger, looking faster and longer. <laughs> that makes sense. And number three, it does lower your skin cancer risks, which I also didn't know about. Especially, bear with me, some of these words are like really technical, and I don't know how to pronounce some of these words, so bear with me. So, wearing sunblock lowers your chances of skin cancer, especially melanoma. 
yeah, melanoma. And I I should have done more research about melanoma because I don't even know what that is. It's obviously a certain skin cancer, but it's from what I did my research, melanoma is especially worse for women than it is men. It's really life-threatening for women, especially for those of you and myself that are in their 20s because I am in my 20s. So... There's another good reason why we should wear sunblock. Sunblock lowers blotchiness on face. This is something I did not know about. So, still drinking my coffee. This is something I didn't know about, and it makes sense. You know, when you go out in the sun and you don't wear sunblock, you get sunburn, and you get like all these red marks afterwards like your little rashes or whatever it is that they want to call it then your skin like kind of like looks blotchy after a while because of the sunburn because your skin is starting to peel off from that burn so what you would want to do is you would want to apply liberally to your face to prevent the onset of the irritating blotchiness and eruption of red veins. The eruption of red veins is when sometimes you you'll if you look at people's faces, you can notice like like little red lines here or appear anywhere on their face. Those are the eruption of uh, red veins. It's I don't remember what it's caused by it could be caused to aging not wearing your sunblock like I said here um, I believe stress does do that to you too and it can also prevent acne which is something different I am still getting used to and learning about and other sun rays induced damages so I that's another reason why I've been wearing sunblock too is because I have really bad acne and Especially in the summer, it's it's hot, you get sweaty, and my skin gets ultra oily and gross, and it's not fun. The summer is not nice to my skin, and you can't really tell right now because I am wearing makeup to cover all that up, and you don't want to see any of that or any of the scars. Obviously, number five, it prevents sunburn. Number six, it, preve it prevents tanning. That's another obvious one, but you don't want to tan. You do not want to tan in the sun. If you are, if you do want to tan, I highly recommend you get a self-tanning lotion. So like one of those lotions that already have like that darker color to it, but it matches your skin tone so it doesn't make you look like, um, what do you call it? an orange cone like you see in the streets or something. So if you do want to tan, I, I highly recommend you get a self-tanning lotion. And if you do tan, you're at risk, I cannot speak today, of being harmed by the harsh ultraviolet bee rays. Should have done more research on that one too. I will. And you, if you do want to get a little bit of tan and you want to wear that sunblock, you want that protection still to protect yourself from, like, skin cancer, the premature aging, anything like that that I've mentioned or will be mentioning, I do recommend that you choose a sunscreen that has a minimum F of SPF 30 so that you prevent the tanning induced by UVB rays. And it doesn't matter what SPF it is, I highly recommend, always, always recommend that you would reapply. I like to do it every hour just to be on the safer side. I like to reapply my sunblock every hour on the hour on the dot. But the website says that you should reapply sunblock every two hours, especially for those of you who have sensitive skin, um... After you're exercising, you're swimming, you're sweating, or anything that can wash off your um, your sunblock, I like to do. But like I said, this is my personal reference to. I like to be safe, safer than sorry. I need to slow down because I'm tripping over my own words. I like to reapply every hour. So if I were to do it right now, let me see what time it is. If I were to apply my low, my sunblock right now, which is 10.44 a.m. right now, I like to give it 30 minutes 
So it'll be about 11.04 that I can go outside. At 10.44, I would reapply again. Another good thing about sunblock is it enhances health of skin, which I knew but I didn't know at the time. But sunscreen protects the the essential skin proteins such as collagen, keratin, and elastin. I don't know what elastin is, but I'm assuming it's it's that protein stuff that's in your skin that makes your skin so elastic that gives you that like young I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to ruin any ring get any wrinkles or anything like that but that's what I'm assuming that it does it gives you that elastic -y, um thing that your skin does I don't know <laughs> these proteins help help keep your skin smooth and healthy so that's another uh, reason why it's important to wear sunblock because it helps protect your skin and those proteins. Another thing I do recommend is you can you can t always take uh, vitamin supplements for that. So you can I've seen supplements for like collagen and keratin. I haven't seen elastin, but I'm pretty sure it's there. But I like to take the hair, skin, and nails uh, supplements. It's been helping a little bit. It doesn't help that I work at um. At a, at a place that requires me to touch a lot of chemicals all day. I do work at Quick Trip, so I'm always like touching the counters with um, sanitizer and wash my hands constantly. It doesn't help my nails or my skin, my hands at all, so they're always dry. So I'm always lotioning. But that's aside from the topic. But that's why I do take those supplements. And yes, 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 if you're wondering, you, you, what I like to do is I like to use hand scrub every day. After I use the hand scrub, I lotion my hands and then I apply the, the sunblock on my hands because your hands are just as important as the rest of your body that is exposed to UV rays and your face, your neck, and your chest. These are your three spots that you also want to be um, applying sunblock on as well. And you want to make sure that the skin, or the skin, the sunscreen has titanium oxide in it as well. Um, yeah, those are the three I forgot to look up. Don't worry. I will be looking up some sunblocks that have these important ingredients in it, and then I'll put them down below, because I forgot to look them up, and I was going to go over them with you guys. So, number eight, there are a wide assortment of sunblocks to choose from at inexpensive rates. So, I don't know how you can make them, but I'm pretty sure that there are uh, videos on YouTube that you can find how to make your own sunblock. And that is probably the most inexpensive ways to have sunblock, but I still would highly recommend going to CVS, going to Walmart, Target, Walgreens, wherever you go shopping, go check it out, or even better, Costco, because you can buy them in bulk, which is always the cheapest way to do it, buy in bulk, and get your sunblock there. But remember, I will have everything, almost everything that I'm mentioning, like the ingredients that you're looking for, the sunblocks I am going to go over with at the end of the video down below in the description. Number nine, you may not have to reapply after a swim, meaning that you don't have to, but I do it anyway still just to protect myself for that extra protection because there are some sunblocks out there that do offer waterproof sun, like sunblocks, and I have a couple of them with me right now. So this one, this is the one that I usually wear at Disneyland. This is a Copper Tone Sport High Performance AccuSpray Sunscreen. And this one has a SPF of 50. It stays on strong when you sweat, and it won't run into eyes and sting. And it's a water resistant for 80 minutes. So you have to look out for that part. I can't really say that it doesn't run into your eyes and sting because it still runs into my eyes and it stings. But... That's besides the point. I still love this one. I'll still use this. So this is what it looks like. 
I got this one at Walmart. Sometimes if I if we do go to Disneyland and we don't have any more sunblock and we need to get some, we'll buy some there at Disneyland. So I guess that's why it reminds me it reminds us of Disneyland a lot. But see, I got the bigger one, so it was a little bit more expensive. And let me see. Where is it? Here it is. SPF 50. And that's where you can see if it's water resistant. It's going to usually be down below. That's where you can find it. Let's see. Other information. This one. I don't believe. This one does have vitamin E in it. And vitamin A. Which is a good thing. But. It does not have any of the ingredients. In it that I'm looking for. So this one would not be one of their recommended sunblocks, but I like this one a lot. My husband likes this one a lot, so we'll probably end up using it still. This one I got from Avon. It is a Derma Plus Technology sunblock. It is a sunscreen lotion of SPF 25. It is resistance, water resistance for 80 minutes. It's lightweight and hydrating. And dermatologists tested it. Actually, is pretty lightweight and it is hydrating. So that's the thing I do like about this one. And I just broke it. And it smells good. It doesn't smell like it smells like sunblock lotion, but it doesn't smell like a generic one. It smells like an Avon one. It's hard to explain. I can't explain it until you actually until you, you know you were to if you were to buy it and actually smell it yourself, then you'll know what I mean. This one. Do not believe this one has any of this stuff either. Oh my goodness. I've never looked over this before until I actually did my sunblock research. Then I have like a little mini on the go Hawaiian Tropic Shimmer Effect Lotion Sunscreen. This one has mica minerals. And this one's pretty cool because it highlights your skin tone. And it has a, a SPF 20. This one, let's see. And this one doesn't have the ingredients on it. Isn't that lovely? I do have a... Excuse me. I do have a couple more. This one's for, like, your lips. So... Alongside with the body and the face sunblock lotions, I do highly recommend you use, you get like a sunblock lip balm or lip gloss for your lips to help the chapping and preventing everything else that can go bad with your lip as well. Because even though it is your lips, it still has skin on it. So you still need to protect that. And did that just happen? Oh my gosh, it broke on me. That was so rude. Mm. Oh. I love it still. It's probably because I forgot to um take it out of my pants and I washed it. But anyway, so be careful when you have these in your pant pockets. So I have the Hawaiian Tropic Lip Balm. It's sunscreen it's a sunscreen stick. It's the tropical flavor. It has an SPF of 45. Um, I don't think this one has ingredients either, but you know what? I love this. It was like two, three bucks at the store. Oh, here's the other part of the sunblock. I'll just put it in my little stick thing for now. Until I melt it all together and put it back in here or something. Alright, and I have a lip gloss that has sunblock on it too. This is from Avon. It's a Glaze Wear SPF 15 lip gloss. And it's just simple and clear. It was about the same, two or three bucks. Worth it though. It doesn't smell like anything. Well, works just as well. I like it. Alright, moving on. So, number 10. Sunscreen offers better protection than a full sleeve dress. This one is new to me too. 
So, I'm going to ask you guys, did you know that a cotton dress particularly or a cotton sweatshirt, when damp, offers zero protection? Zero, not a zilch, nothing. So, you can still wear that sweatshirt, that dress, whatever you want to wear, but I still highly recommend that you put on a layer of sunblock under your clothes so you still get that protection. Oh, right. So I didn't have all 11 of them. I don't know why, but I guess I skipped one. Oh, yeah, I went over that one already. All right. So let's go over the bonus features that it has for the sunblock. So when you're shopping for sunblock or you want to just use up the ones that you have now and you want to get new ones and upgrade or you need to go buy more, whatever it is, or you're getting it for a gift, I would highly recommend that you opt out for a broad spectrum sunscreen that is non, and this is one of the weird words again, co comedogenic and hypoallergenic. Such sunscreens will shield you from ultraviolet rays, both A and B, while safeguarding you from rashes, clogged pores, acne, and sunburns. And the ingredients you, you are going to be looking for when you go and buy a sunscreen, and again, this is new for me as well, you want to be looking for titanium dioxide, and again, I'll put all the ingredients down below so that you um, don't have to worry about trying to figure out what I'm saying or trying to spell it or whatever. So I'll have them down below for you. Octo, oh, deoxide octo, metho, methoxycinamate, <laughs> benzone also known as parcel or zinc and zinc oxide. Again, it'll be down below, along with my resources that I have written down for you here. Don't worry about it. It's all messy handwriting, so that's why I'm going to write it down below. And I do have another website on here that tells you that shows you pictures of some blocks that is good for oily skin like myself that I'm going to check out and you don't have to stop using brands like this or if you use Hawaiian Tropic or if you even do use Avon or Mary Kay um, or even Banana Boat you don't have to stop using those you I'm gonna use all of those all over my body still my neck and my chest my neck and my chest <laughs> and I'm gonna what I want to do for myself is I want to buy some of these oil free sunblocks and use it specifically for my face so that I don't I get that extra protection on my face. I look uh, younger longer and because I do have oily skin, it'll help protect that too. So here is a list of 10 sunblocks for oily skin. There is the sebamed, sebombed, whatever it is. See, you'll see what I mean. This is exactly how it's spelled on the website too. Sun Care, and that has 50 plus. So the SPF is 50 plus. Or if you're like me and you use Proactive, you you can always get this too. It, I saw it. It comes like in a small bottle. It's not that big. It's a, called Proactive Daily Protection Plus Sunscreen SPF 30. And I think it would be more ideal for me to get that because I'm already a, proact a proactive girl. I already use these. But I'm pretty sure it's pretty expensive. One of my favorite ones that I have tried before in the past is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock with SPF 50+. Plus. The reason why I like that one is because it is lightweight. It is Neutrogena. You know, Neutrogena is pretty good with like skincare and stuff. So that's another reason why I liked it. There's Clarins UV Plus HP Sunscreen 40+. Plus. Lacme... Sun Expert Fairness and UV Lotion SPF 30. Moisture White Sunblock. You can get that at the body shop. 
Clinique Super City Block Oil Free. And I know that one's pretty expensive because I've seen it on the website. And I don't, not that I have anything against Clinique's. I like Clinique, but they're just a little bit out of my price range. Okay, a lot out of my price range. VLCC Sierra Sandal Sunblock Lotion SP 20. And then this one is really pretty, actually. If you go on the website that I'll have down below for you, go check it out. And I like this one. It sounds really nice. It's called the Lotus Herbal Safe Sun UV Screen Matte Gel 50. And then there, oh no, it was this one, I think. I don't remember. It was one of the two, but they're really pretty. And the last one is Aroma Magic Aloe Vera Sunscreen Gel 20. And the good thing about this one SPF 20 is a, it's good for acne prone, highly sensitive, and sun tolerant skin. So if you fall into that category, that one's a good one for you. And I'll have both websites down in the down in the link below. And the last thing I want to go over with you guys is the importance of after sun care. After sun skin care is you know you the aloe vera gel aloe vera gel and the good thing about it is that um not only are they good for sunburns and, and like other burns like that but um they're also good for just like coming out of the sun and then you feel like that like you need a little bit like lotion and stuff you can use lotion but i would to like moisturize your skin i would you can but i would recommend you use aloe vera more this one because it's more moisturizing it's more natural and it's cooling on your skin this one's good i got this one at target but i it smells nice and all but the one i would recommend using for moisturizing is this avon one it's the same thing like this one so you can get them both at Avon, but this one is for aloe vera, and as you can see down here below, I don't know if you can, it's non-sticky, moisturizing, mild, gentle, non-coolant aloe vera ice gel. Here it is. Where are you? I saw it in here somewhere that it was cooling after sun aloe gel. It says that, ah, I think I just read it moisturizing that's why i like this one and they're both very inexpensive all right so that's it for today guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up please comment below if you guys have any ideas you want to see any suggestions anything like that subscribe if you haven't um if you want to see more videos like this one let me know in the comments down below and i'd be more than happy to look at that and give it into some consideration all right, so that's it for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Have a good weekend.